DC Multiverse! Good day, superest of super friends. We have something really fun today for you. We have the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Classic TV Series 1966 Adam West Batman Action Figure. So here we have a great big window in the front. We can see the action figure on the inside. We can see the accessories that we get already. Turning the box on its side. We can see Batman Classic TV Series. And when we go to the back, we have a fantastic photograph of the man himself, Adam West, Batman. And all out of the package, we see Batman, his trading card, four more interchangeable hands, his Batarang, and his Bat Communicator, along with the round black action figure stand. The trading card, as we know, has the same image as the back of the box on the front there, and the back has the data file for this Batman trading card. Kapow! The debonair millionaire, Bruce Wayne, may seem like your average cool cat, but you would be wrong. With the flip of a Shakespeare head bust, and to the Batcave, Gotham City is filled with a rogues gallery of criminals eager to unmask the Batman, but they are thwarted by the Cape Crusader's own clever ways. I'll just add that to the current stack. Here's a close-up view of that Batarang. Looks pretty accurate to me. Even has a hole in it for him to attach the bat rope. Here is his bat communicator. I've always thought that it looked like a very happy one-eyed monster. There's an alternate pointy finger hand. What looks like a hand made for grabbing the Batarang, although I promise you this won't grip the Batarang. And then two Batusi Batman hands, you know, for doing the dance. And then of course we have the figure, which comes with, gloriously enough, a full cloth goods cape. How cool is that? And the cape actually kind of looks like it does in the TV show. It's kind of that shiny-ish material. This is fantastic. And I love the fact that this cape is wired. That also is something that is something that if you're a cloth goods cape person, then you've been asking for cloth goods capes with wires in them since the very beginning of McFarland Toys. And we're seeing a lot more of this show up with his figures. I think that this is the way forward for caped figures going, going forward here for Todd. It's going to be cloth goods with wires. Of course, the torso and the body of this Batman is not nearly as buff and muscular as most McFarlane Toys Batmans because Adam West was not a really big, buff, muscular guy. He was just your average looking dude in a spandex bat suit. The trunks and the belt area look accurate to the show. Like that very much. I do wish there was a spot to put his Batarang back here at the back of his utility belt, but not complaining, it still looks accurate enough with those big pouches and the great big symbol on the front there. You have an accurate bat symbol on the chest of this Batman. It looks exactly like it does in the TV show, so that's fantastic. You've got the sculpting that's continued underneath his cape here that is supposed to be his cowl that his cape is supposed to sit on top of. And I think that that looks really good. You've got his gauntlets looking very much like they do on the show as well. Like those very, very much. And you've got his boots. You've got his little bat booties that look like they do on the show. This is so far a very impressive, fantastic looking Batman figure. And the facial sculpt for this Batman looks, I would say pretty good as for a comparison to Adam West's actual facial structure. I think that it looks pretty good. I don't really have any real complaints about it. And same thing even with the bat ears, the way that they're on the top of the cowl like that and they're kind of up and off to the side. This is, this is pretty good. Todd has done a very good job with this Batman figure giving us an Adam West. Now here for comparison, I have him beside the other McFarlane toys Adam West Batman from his 66 Batman action figure line. Yes, the, the cape on mine is a bit different. I did replace the cape. And then off to the far left, I believe that that is a little Funko Batman. I got it a long time ago and I, I can't really, I think it's Funko though. I think it's a Funko one. One more thing to do with this figure before we close out and that is check his articulation. See if he really is able to do the Batusi. See if he really is able to fight crime. Is he flexible enough? Let's find out. 
Well, that's how far back he goes, and that's how far forward he goes. So he has rotation in the torso. That's actually pretty good. And then he's got it in the waist. I'm really going to push it because it's tight and it doesn't want to move. But you can see he does, in fact, have articulation in the waist there. I'm going to put it back. He's got articulation in the head by way of a rounded joint that holds that noodle on. And yeah, that's a, that's a reasonable range of motion, I would think. The shoulders have the sockets that fill that space in and make the figure so it doesn't look so weird and dumb if you open up the, uh, the arms all the way. But it can move down and all around, very articulated. You've got the rounded hinge right there. You've got a bicep swivel 360. You've got crunchy double jointed elbows that crunch up nicely. You have these shaped hinges right here in the wrists. And yeah, they're actually really articulated. That's actually really nice. Down here in the legs, he's got, uh, I wish he had more of that doesn't have as much of that as I would have liked to see and this is me really pushing it got the McFarlane groin down there so everything else he's going to be able to move all the way out all the way well forward that much before his trunks get in the way he's got double jointed knees and they're nice they crunch up quite nicely his ankles well they've got those shaped hinges and they, they're also bicep swivels, as not bicep swivels, they're also pivots, bicep swivels. He's got a bicep down here on his leg. And then of course he's got toe articulation. So that's what he's got. Not bad. So what do I think about this Batman action figure? Is it fit for the trash heap or is it good enough for the collection? Well, you've been here with me the whole time, so you've heard what I've been saying about it. Honestly, I really like this Batman figure. It's one that I was waiting for. I was hoping that Todd was going to get the rights to make in the seven inch scale, and he did. Now it gives me hope that we're going to see a Christopher Reeve Superman in this scale as well. I really, really hope that Todd gets the rights to make that one too. Anyway, that's all from me today, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. It means a lot to me. Have yourself a super awesome DC day, and I will see you with the next one. Bye, everybody. Take care.